They're as heavy as three elephants and the same size as a city bus. The whale shark is the largest fish in the world. In the third part of our Philippine Life series, we head to Donzol in the south of Luzon Island, where we search the ocean for these gentle giants. Our best chance of spotting a boot ending, as whale sharks are known here, is in the morning, so we're out early. On board, we're led by WWF expert David David. Every interaction, it's like a unique experience. They are gentle, and if you notice if you swim with them, you kind of forget the outside world. Despite their colossal size, whale sharks are fish, not mammals. Their favorite meal is plankton. Although they have a large mouth, more or less than two meters, depending on its length, large mouth, but they don't have the capability to swallow big objects, even like us, because their trout is only like this. The discovery of whale sharks here has drastically altered life for locals in the region. A decade ago, the WWF and local authorities implemented a policy of community-based, eco-friendly tourism. The whale sharks changed Donsol by providing a livelihood to unemployed people, especially the fishermen who had previously only relied on fishing. Given that relatively little is known about the whale shark as a species, protecting this endangered fish is a difficult process. David goes out to sea almost every day to take pictures, uploading them onto a database in order to track changes. The main activities here of WWF is the whale shark photo ID. So it's more of uh, estimating how many whale shark aggregating in Dunsol every season. Every individual whale shark hat has its own uh, unique pattern, so it's just like fingerprint for humans. <laughs> Each whale shark is clearly identifiable thanks to its unique patterns. Because its skin resembles a starry sky, scientists use an adapted version of the software developed for the Hubble Space Telescope to determine who's who underwater. Nearly 400 whale sharks have been identified in Donsol in the past six years. And why is Donsol Bay such a hotspot for whale sharks? The answer is Mount Mayon, one of the Philippines' active volcanoes. Come monsoon season, rich minerals flow down the volcano via the Donsol River into the ocean. They feed the mangroves, which feed the plankton, leading to an all-you-can-eat buffet for sea creatures who flock to the area. It's located in the Coral Triangle, a highly complex ecosystem in the Indo-Pacific Ocean. Scientists believe that it's the last frontier uh, because it has the highest uh, biodiversity of sea creatures anywhere in the world. The corals attract both small and big, creating a colorful nursery of different species. Still, everyone has their favorites, and dive master Bobby is no different. For me, the unique fish in this area, especially the, uh, the manta rays. For the first time, when I was diving, uh, I'm so scared because it's really big, you know. So I'm feel, oh my gosh, this is new or this is a dream. So I'm just looking like that, so I'm just relaxed. But for the first time, I feel a little bit nervous because they come close, it's like this, you know. With our feet firmly back on dry land, in the last edition of our four-part Philippine Life series, we explore the country's UNESCO-protected cultural heritage, going back in time to visit the 2,000-year-old rice terraces of Banaui, the former Spanish colonial town of Vigan, and Poway's centuries-old Baroque church. <laughs> 